Next up, we'd like to call up a dear friend of mine and ours, Representative Dominic, Dominic Loricchio. <laughs> Thank you, Stanley, Andrea. We appreciate all that you do. Uh, first of all, I was just sitting at the back of the room looking around at everybody, mostly kind of at the back of everybody's heads, but the, the thought crossed my mind. Where would this community be without each and every one of you? Uh, I have the privilege of going to Atlanta and bragging that I serve the best district in the state of Georgia, and that is largely because of people exactly like you. And I don't want you to ever undervalue what you do in this community or the people that are sitting to your left and right and the sacrifices that they make. I did ask Andre if I could talk to you for just a minute to do a little report. I very seldom ever do at the power lunches because frankly people don't like to hear politicians say much of anything. But um, the governor met with us this week about the state of Georgia and the state of our budget uh, primarily. And we are pleased to announce that once again, Georgia has been rated the best state in the nation to do business. Our AAA bond rating is uh, second to none. All of what Georgia is doing uh, with our budget and with how we appropriate the monies to not just the state agencies, but down to the local levels is uh, reaping tremendous benefits. Uh, I won't go into detail, but we compared Georgia to seven other states in the southeast. And the closest one that it even measures up against what Georgia's doing is North Carolina. And North Carolina is uh, almost completely depleted their revenue shortfall reserve um, in their upcoming budget because of some uh, mismanagement, we'll say, in some of the monies that they had available. Just wanted to brag about what we're doing as far as the, the economy is doing. And uh, the governor has instructed all of the agencies in their upcoming budget request to hold the line. Uh, he's asking for them to not have any additions to this upcoming budget unless absolutely necessary. And Mars can relate to this adjusting for population increases. But uh, again, the reason we're able to do that with the budget is because of people like you um, working hard to make the most of your money and what you have to work with. But I did want to say, um, we hope to be able to take the additional revenue that will come in this week and invest it back into economic development opportunities to use it to go into these uh, rural communities in particular that really desperately need these jobs in manufacturing and technical colleges and those kinds of things that will help us in the future. Um, so we, we have that to be proud of. Today I am riding with uh, Josh Augusta. He is a trooper first class with the Georgia State Patrol Post 36. And I just wanted to say a word about, about him and his uh, colleagues and what they do, because one of the things we always brag about is being the number one state in the nation to do business. And I think the governor has taken a tremendous interest in trying to make sure that we are the safest state in the nation to live, work, and raise your family. But if you don't mind, uh, let's give him a hand and all of the men and women that serve the people. Tough times, like many, uh, they had to go without pay increases. Uh, one of the first things I noticed when I got in the car with him this morning uh, was a picture of his wife and two kids. I believe they're probably under the age of three, both of them. Uh, a little boy and a little girl. Um, and, and I thought about the uh, officer, Tim Scott, was it, or Adams Smith, over in Eastman that uh, was killed. And uh, we, we just take it for granted living in a rural South Georgia that these guys put on that uniform, these men and women put on that uniform every single day to go and keep us safe and have to contend with the idea at least or thought that they may not go home. And I have uh, grown to really appreciate what they mean to this state, this community. And uh, when we're at, at work or at home uh, doing what we do, uh, there's people out there watching our back. So thank you, Josh, for what you do and what all the men and women do. Lastly, I just wanted a quick update on the legislative day, September the 9th at uh, Doc Hill Farms from 11.30 to 1.30 there. would encourage everybody to please uh, get ready to, to attend that event or participate in that event, sponsor it, whatever you might be able to do. 
at our caucus meeting this week, I'd had a number of people just walk up to me and say, hey, I'm excited about coming down to Douglas and spending some time with you on Legislative Day. I think in the, in the House, at least, we're going to have a good turnout because that's where most all the work takes place and, and getting things done for the state. But I hope that we're going to have a good turnout from legislators. I know that I'll be there, Representative Purple, Senator Harper, uh, Nimmer, Shaw, Carter, Watson, and, and several others will be there. But I tell people everywhere I go, I'm only one of 180 state representatives. We're only one county of 159, and if we don't get about networking and building the relationships to, to take Georgia in the right direction together, they will gladly leave you on an island by yourself. Thank you all so much for letting me serve you and have an opportunity to speak to you this morning. God bless you.